Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video. I'm going to be showing you my library haul and also doing a book unboxing. I also, as you saw, got a new bookshelf. I caved and bought a new bookshelf because some of you may know that my plan for my new apartment with all my books and styling them around my house, I decided once I got here, I was just gonna have my books kind of scattered everywhere. I was gonna do like a cute stack of them on my floor, which I still do have. Have. but the problem is I'm running out of places to put my red books there's some spots in the house that are good to have books on the floor but others not so much because I do have a corgi and he sheds a lot there's constantly hair on the floors and I'm vacuuming all the time so I think having books directly on the floor just wasn't gonna work for me because of my lovely dog Benji so I love him so much but he does shed a ton. So I was like, I need to put some of my books up off the floor, like on shelves so that they stay nice. So I did cave and buy this one on Amazon. It was really affordable. It's just like 30 bucks or something. And I like it. It kind of is the same color as my coffee table. So it kind of matches the living room color scheme and everything. But yeah, so I was like, I just need to get one, at least just one so I can put my red books somewhere else because like I have some by my fireplace I have them on like the half wall right there some of my tv center things so I was just like I need a, a legit bookshelf so I did put that together by myself this morning as you saw and it was a little bit difficult I definitely would have much rather had my husband Riley do it but he's at work right now so I had to do it myself I had to be a girl boss and do it myself and we managed we did it she looks great really excited to be putting some more books on there later so i did just get this one because i wanted to get just something that was practical and affordable but let me show you i actually have a dream bookshelf that i want to get i'll actually put it on the screen so it's better for you to see this is also on amazon it's more expensive it's like 170 dollars but it's so pretty and modern looking and I just love it. It's also ginormous. And this wall behind me is actually quite big. I'm having trouble kind of filling it with stuff. I haven't put anything on the walls or anything yet. So I just have this bench here and now the bookshelf. My dream would be to have this giant bookshelf and like maybe two of them on this wall. I think that would look so, so great. Eventually, I think I wanna get this one, but for now, we have this one. Again, just looking for something practical and affordable right now at the moment. But yeah, that's the update on the bookshelf because I am still growing my collection of books, so I do need to have a place to store them in a way that looks nice. Now let's get into the rest of the video. Like I said, this is gonna be a book unboxing. I have just a few books that I ordered on Amazon that I wanted to open with you guys. And then I also have my library haul, which we do first let's do the book unboxing first so i have my package here and there's not a ton it's just one package and there's not a ton in here but it's still fun it's still fun to open packages together ah uh, yes here they are. I could not wait to open this package. I wanted to do it with you guys on camera. So like I've been staring at the package for the past like two days. Just wanting to open it so bad. I also ordered some hair ties. <laughs> That, those are also in here. So now I can finally use these too, but these are just super soft, stretchy, good for no breakage. So oh, there's that. And then the three books I got are so cute. Okay, if you saw my latest book shopping vlog, I went to Barnes & Noble and purchased a few books that I have already read that I wanted to just add to my collection because I read them on my Kindle or something like that. In that vlog, I did pick up Credence by Penelope Douglas and I talked about how 
I wanted to get the other book that I read by her that I loved, which was Birthday Girl. So I did order this one on Amazon because I did give this book five stars and I really wanted to own a physical. Oh. The oven is done preheating. <laughs> so I did want to own a physical copy of this. I'm so happy to own it because I really want to reread it. And I love the look of the indie published books and the feel of them. They're just like so solid. So that is the first book. And then the other two are books I haven't read yet. So I am adding them to my TBR. So the first one I have here is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. Again, if you saw my book shopping vlog, you saw me pick up the box set of this and it was like almost $40 for both of them together and then just this one was like $18.99 which is actually what it says still on here but Amazon had it for way way cheaper so I definitely wanted to get it on Amazon it's also on KU so I could just read it on my Kindle but I really wanted to own the physical because it is such a pretty book and yeah, so I just wanted to own it. I'm hoping to get to this soon because it's very, very popular, obviously, and a lot of people love it. So I really am looking forward to reading this. And then thirdly, I have Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. So Lynn Painter is an author that I have been wanting to dive into because I've been seeing a lot more about her and her books. And I thought that this one would be a good one to start with. It's just a young adult romance, but I know that she does also have adult romances and everything like that. So I do want to just kind of dive into her writing and see how I feel about it. I love the colors, the blue and yellow, so. I just kind of picked the one that I thought was the cutest to start with. So I did get this one too. That's it for the little book unboxing. Now I want to talk about the six books that I picked up from the library the other day. I am also wanting to use my library more often and take advantage of their wide selection that they do have of books. It's super easy to just go on my library's website and just like place a bunch of books on hold. So that's what I did last week. Actually, I think I'm still waiting for two more to be ready for pickup, but these six all came in at the same time. So I went and picked those up. And the first one I have here is The School for Good Mothers by Jessamine Chan. This is exactly what the title says. I think like there's these people who spy on mothers and they catch them in moments of weakness. And this one woman is caught or like being observed while at the playground with her daughter. And she's caught in a, in a moment of where she didn't do the best thing a parent should. And so she's sent to the school for good mothers. And that's really all I know. But the main reason I picked this one up as well as two other books I have here are because they are by Asian authors and I did want to try and squeeze some books written by Asian authors for the month of May so I have heard a lot of recent things about this one so I did want to pick this one up and then the next one I have still has tape on it disregard that but I have How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu so again another Asian author I wanted to read this month and this one I believe is a sci-fi and it says for fans of Cloud Atlas which I don't know anything about I've never heard of and Station Eleven which I have read Station Eleven but it wasn't my favorite thing but I do kind of want to dabble more into those types of books again I've heard some things about this one so I want to give it a shot and see how I like it, but it is a dystopian set in the future, which I am a fan of. I just feel like I could be a little bit particular on in my taste. I'm trying to figure that whole genre out for myself, so I did want to give this a go. The third one that I picked up by an Asian author is a very, very popular one. That is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, and this one I know is like about the neighborhood of Shaker Heights, and it's about this another mother I think these are all, wait a second, mother-daughter situations, some kind of children. I think I remember, because I did read all of their synopses, and I do remember them having the theme of like motherhood or just parenthood. So I think that's also kind of what this one's about, but I am looking forward to picking it up and seeing how I like it, because this is a very popular book. So I wanted to try that. Okay, and then the next two I have here 
are some more science fiction books by an author the same author and i have read one of their books before and i did enjoy it i wanted to get more into this author specifically blake crouch and i picked up upgrade and dark matter by him so i have read recursion which i did enjoy it has some like time travel elements i believe i can't really remember too much about it but but i did pick up these other two books to give them a shot and see if they were equally as good as recursion to me or maybe even better i think i've heard a lot of great things about dark matter specifically this one we're following the main character named jason he's knocked unconscious and when he awakens he finds himself strapped to a gurney surrounded by strangers in hazmat suits they smile down at him and say welcome back my friend and he is thrust into a completely different life than the one he once knew so his wife is not his wife his son was never born and jason is not an ordinary college physics professor but a celebrated genius who has achieved something remarkable something impossible i think this one sounds interesting sci-fi thriller about choices paths not taken and how far we'll go to claim the lives we dream of so i'm really looking forward to this one and then upgrade is about a man named Logan who just seems to be an upgraded human he just seems like a little bit more sharp than the rest smarter reading faster memorizing better needing less sleep but before long he can't deny it something's happening to his brain to his body he's starting to see the world and those around him even those he loves most in whole new ways. Lightning fast tale that charts one man's thrilling transformation even as it asks us to ponder the limits of our humanity and our boundless potential really interesting premises yeah i'm looking forward to reading more by this author as well and then last but not least this is probably the one i'm most excited for we have a murder mystery that i heard about from jordan on booktube at sorry book solid i saw her talking about this book in one of her vlogs she made it sound so interesting and i was really really convinced to pick it up myself and try it and that is the enigma of room 622 by Joel Dicker and like I said it's a murder mystery and it's a chunky one so I'm really excited for the intricate plot lines and the characters that we're gonna follow they even say at the bottom of the synopsis Joel Dicker presents his most diabolically addictive thriller yet one whose twists and turns no reader will see coming so apparently everyone who reads this like you can just never guess who the murderer is or you can't guess any of the plot twists which I'm just so excited for. Like, I love things that will just take me completely by surprise. And I'm in need of a good murder mystery, and I think this one is gonna be super, super fun. So basically, all I know is that it's set in Switzerland. I believe it's translated. It's a translated book as well. So it's set in Switzerland in this hotel, and these people are trying to find room 622, and they discover that it doesn't exist. So it just goes from 621 to 623. The people at the hotel just think that there was a mishap with the blueprints when building the hotel it just kicks off from there i think it just will go so deep into so many different parts which i'm really excited to read about i'm gonna pick this up hopefully soon and just kind of take my time with it since it is a little bit longer and i want to make sure i'm really gathering all the information i'm really soaking it all up so that i can enjoy it to its fullest potential but yeah i'm really really looking forward to reading this book and being shocked by all the plot twists and we'll see how it goes and here they all are i think it is a little bit terrifying that i picked all these up at the same time so that they are all due back at the same time i haven't started any of them yet but i will probably in the next couple days i'm gonna pick up one of these three from the asian authors so that i can try and finish them for the month of may I wish me luck hopefully i will be able to read all these books in the time that i need to in order to get them back to the library that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed kind of this three-parter. Thank you so much for being here and for spending time with me today. I really, really appreciate all of your guys' support and I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!